What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Remastered and Mod Tracker. This is on my channel, hopefully you guys are having a super awesome day. And today we are going to be looking at the Dragon Lord armor for Xbox One. This looks absolutely breathtaking. I've stumbled across this author literally this week and he or she has brought out a ton of beautiful mods that we will be covering this week on the channel just because they're absolutely amazing. They really are and I've been having a ton of fun with them as well and some of them should be within my top five for this week as well. So you're probably thinking, well, this is a nice new location. We're not in Whiterun or somewhere else like that. No, we are right here on the map here. Silent Moon's camp, you are going to need to come around here to collect this piece of armor. Now this armor can be forged if necessary, and if you do want that, you can forge it. But for me, I like to find things. I like to go out and sort of, not essentially earn the armor, but to sort of collect it or pick it up. So Silent Moon camp, so you're going to need to come here. Once you've come here, you need to look around for this small TP here. Now be careful as well, obviously you can tell there is a bloodbath around here. I actually had to clear this out before the video, there was a ton of people here as well, due to a couple of other mods that I'm running simultaneously as well. But uh, you will be greeted by a few enemies or so. For me, I had to clear out this a little bit as a saber tooth and a couple of other dead people. And once you have cleared it out, there is a chest up here next to this dead corpse, which is a little bit strange. And it should be titled, the Dragon Lord Armor Set Chest. Once you go in here, the armor shall be presented to you. So, straight off the bat, we are greeted with the Dragon Lord's robe armor. Again, all of these are heavy armor, and this particular mod is for a male only. We will be covering a female only armor, which again looks absolutely beautiful, but that is another video. So this is the Dragon Lord robe armor, looks absolutely awesome. It has a whopping 241 base armor value rating, which is absolutely insane. Weight of 37, which is not that bad at all for something like this either. So that's cool. We've got the Dragon Lord chest itself here with 233 armor. Again, that's absolutely beautiful. We've got the helmet as well. I mean, it's personal preference. I prefer this one over to this one. This one doesn't have any sort of, um, what would you call it? Sort of like that red ribbon hanging at the back of the head there. But again, personal preference for me. I personally like the red ribbon. I think it looks absolutely sick. And obviously, it gives it a little bit of a bulkier feel to the armor itself. So again, both are exactly equal on the armor value rating as well. One is 100 coins value of better off. But the, the weight is only 6 still, which is incredibly low as well. So that's kind of cool to see. Gauntlets looking absolutely pucker and on point as well. As well, I love the fact that there's no vanilla textures here. They've actually made their own textures for the armor with a whopping 101 base armor value for these gauntlets. I think it's the highest we've seen on a base value for a modded item. So that's absolutely insane. We've got the Dragon Lord boots here. Again, looking absolutely fresh. Again, 101 on the armor value rating there with a weight of 6. Not too bad at all. And you get a variety of weapons. This is obviously the Abyss, the Awoken Edition, which is uh, slightly enchanted, I believe. If target dies within two seconds, which normally with this character I'm one shot in, depends what level you are as well, fills a soul gem, absorbs 20 points of stamina, and absorbs 20 points of health. Absolutely brilliant enchant if you are trying to sort of stock up on those soul gems, that's great. My personal favorite, which I've used in this video as well, burns a target for 15 seconds. Target takes extra fire damage. Target takes 15 points of frost to health and stamina, which is absolutely insane. Target takes 15 of shock damage and half as much magicka damage. An absolute all-round beast sword. Obviously, if you're running a lower character, then this is probably going to be the better option for you for that weapon. But again, personal preference depends what sort of build you are running between them as well. These are just the two standard of them as well. So if you don't want any enchants and you just want a standard blade, then these are the two variations of the enchanted ones there. So we're going to take all of that now. We're going to take all. Thank you very much. And we're going to try this on and show it out for you guys. I'm not going to be showing the vanilla texture blades. I actually want to show the enhanced and sort of done up blades. So have a look at the uh, Abyss Awoken edition of that one, and obviously let's ch chuck on the full set of Dragon Lord here. We're obviously going to try on the gauntlets as well a little bit later, and again, as I said, I'm going to try on this one just because it's personal preference without that one. I just prefer the one with it, and I think we are good on that. So let's have a quick look at the front. Oh my god, you look like a freaking beast from the back. Let's have a quick look at the front. That blade is, is hanging there pretty proud. That is an absolute beast. Wow, that looked really clean. 
very, very nice. No clipping issues on that as well. There is one clipping issue on the back there to do with the blade, but that isn't an issue. Let's whip out the blade and have a little look. Holy shit, that blade is huge. I'm loving the enchantment on that as well. Who's this? Banfire Wizard. All right, girl. Let's try it out. Obviously, we got footage at the end of the video where we basically try out the blade itself. She's taken a ton of damage just from the enchant here. This is not upgraded at all. This is a standard blade from this one. But the, uh, the Wizard of Zed, and as you can tell, they're filling up my soul gem, which is absolutely awesome. Obviously, got the enhanced blood texture on this sort of well, as I'm running this mod as well, so hence why there's an absolute ton of blood. But as I say, both work in junction, absolutely beautiful. But the detailing on this is absolutely amazing. Very, very nice. Let's try the robed armor. I want to see what that looks like, which obviously takes away the chest, which is a slightly longer version. Again, kind of reminds me of a sort of a samurai. Sort of, I should, should have a spear. In that occasion, though, I think we will change to the other blade, which will be this one, my personal favorite. Slightly bigger on the hilt and handle there. And obviously, the blade is a similar size, but just overall, just the electricity and the engraving or sort of the uh, detailing on the blade there is absolutely sick. I mean, guys, even if you don't want this mod just for the armor, the blades itself are absolutely beautiful. I can think of a ton of different things just for the purposes of blades, like obviously partnering them with something else. But uh, overall, I think it's very, very clean. A very nice set of armor indeed. I personally have the red thing hanging out the back there. You don't have to have that again. Personal preference. I mean, we can change it just for a demonstration for the robes. There we go. But it's entirely up to you guys. Obviously, as well, you can chop and change these sort of selective bits of armor to whatever, whatever, whatever takes your fancy. It's entirely up to you. But guys, I really, really, really enjoy this armor, and I cannot wait to cover more of this author's mods. I really cannot wait. But guys, thanks ever so much for watching. For the next couple of minutes now, we are going to be taking this beautiful armor into combat and uh, showcasing it to its full potential. I think it looks absolutely awesome, and I cannot wait to be using it for the rest of the week. Guys, until the next one, kill a kev here, and kill a kev out.